Welcome back, everybody. Let's take a look at some footage, shall we? Now, here we have a... We're looking west at sunrise. As the sun comes up, I want to point out how bright everything is up here. Lots of reflecting light coming back towards the viewer's eyes. See how bright all that is up there? Really bright. Now, as the sun comes up behind the camera, all of that brightness as you can see in this background here you can see these clouds over here all the light coming out over here these are our clouds down here below now the sun is up or starting to come up right about that time you can see these clouds in the background see how they're not illuminated like these are also you can see in the background here how dark it is over here all the lights coming out from the other side of this darkness again you can see this Back here is dark, not getting illuminated like our clouds are. See how it's remaining dark in the sky? And it's not from the sun hitting the lens or anything because the sun is still behind the camera. As the uh, sun gets higher in the sky, it starts to come up. We can see how everything over here is getting darker. The light seems to be passing just along the edge of where our clouds are. Notice back here it's how dark it is and how the shadow from behind that darkness is not letting the sky get to get to the point where it's you know blue like it normally would be. See how dark all this is? See how this is not getting illumination, where these are getting lots of illumination. These lower clouds, our clouds. Notice they're all also moving the opposite direction of the non-illuminated things in the background. Now the background, I keep saying, isn't part of our atmosphere or anything. It's beyond our sky. It's what's in space. See how these are still not illuminating up here? We have different colors of blue. And again, going the wrong direction, of course. See how there's a cast shadow over in this area? These are all lit up, these are not. Everything that's going that direction, our clouds are the ones over in this area aren't getting the illumination they should be. I think that's pretty obvious. As well as the big shadow of, of uh, non-illuminated sky. Now the sun is directly overhead. And even while it's overhead, this is still darker. See how these clouds way over here are lit up? This little area, this, this corridor of light that's running through here. But it's not running through really over here at all. 
See the difference? See how this part of the sky isn't lit up? Facing west at sunrise. We'll also get to see the sunset as well. See how this whole area is just in the dark? <laughs> see? As the sun comes up and goes over, lots of uh, strange shaded areas in the sky, especially up here. Now it's all lit up, and this is all dark. See how the light? Just pinching through here. Right back here, you can actually see the rounding edge and how the light's pinching through here. That right there, see that smooth looking body behind the clouds? See how it's all smooth and illuminated like this? With a dark side back like over here? That's because this is round. Reflecting light on the side edge and top with the back side. See how the light is going around that area right there? Reflecting off that area. See how the light's breaking right there? Look at the bell shape. It's coming up around the bottom of something. See how it stalls when it's rising too? It came up and it just kind of sat there and then started going again. The explanation behind that is a long winded one. And won't be given today. But you can see how the light's breaking around something right here. See how there's a corridor of light here? See how they're sh casting shadow? See how slow the sun is moving now? See how there's breaking light around this area? How everything kind of gets blurry and dark because it goes further and further that way? Things shouldn't be falling into the shade. I mean, look how the light's breaking right here. It's not spread out. The light isn't spreading out. It's pinched. Probably the best word. Can you see this in the background? All right there. See how the, how the light's reacting in this area? How it's breaking down and around something here? Another clear sign that the light's not spreading out properly is how bright it gets at, towards the horizon as the sun gets higher and higher. See how bright it is in this area? Usually the light spreads out quite a bit more. We can see how the light's breaking 
a lot right in this area. Non-illuminated clouds above. How is that even possible? Funny how they don't illuminate until the sun gets low enough. Then that area gets really bright. <laughs> yeah, they're just cutting out way too much footage these days. I'm having trouble even getting a, a good video to put up for you guys. See how the light gets above first before the sun ever comes up? It's reflecting off something up there. Shouldn't be any light up there yet. last two hours here at Cozumel see how the light is breaking breaking see the shape of the Sun that is a pinched source of light right there otherwise why else would it be breaking on blue sky Now, when the sun is covered up, it should illuminate the rest of the sky evenly. Am I not correct in thinking this? I'm pretty sure I am correct in thinking this. Anytime you cover up the sun, it evens out, gets rid of the glare, gets rid of everything. So you can see all blue sky. And as you can see, as well as I can see this is not blue sky the sun is covered up this should be illuminated this should be illuminated right here should be illuminated but no the sun is, light is basically coming down and under pinching between next picture just shows more of the same still dark over there Now, as the sun gets lower, it starts to illuminate because it's getting below what's in front of the sun and catching a little illumination. see the light is breaking down and around down and under I mean clouds are falling in the shadow over here then that look like pinched light right there because <laughs> as soon as the Sun gets below this area you notice how bright it got it wasn't bright when it was covered up the Sun up here this area was very dark still but as the Sun got below this area you notice that it's now illuminating And you can see how the light is bending through here. See the shape of the light? The breaking points of where the light is coming more out of 
the lower the sun gets, the more we're able to see these things. It should be even, and as you can see, it is not. You got light breaking here, you got cast shadow breaking through here, more light coming through here, lots of shadow over there most of the time. It's subtle, but it's there. It's, I mean, you can see it. You got to understand that the sun is connected to us, and it's really bright in the sky from the connection we have. Anything beyond that connection, the outer atmosphere, kind of falls into the darkness of space. The sun is not a light bulb. Now, this is the total view from yesterday, yesterday's footage that was in yesterday's video. See this? How this all illuminates bright and early. See, the sun's not coming up over here, it's coming up behind the camera. And you can see, as the sun does come up behind the camera, the sky changes quite a bit. See how the light's really weird right here? Notice how the rest of the sky is really weird, not illuminated, hardly at all. See the light is breaking around something right here. It's being forced around the side or the top of what we what I was pointing out in the other piece of footage. See how the light's breaking right here? How none of this is illuminated over here? Not even the, the water or anything? You can see the breaking in the water as well. See how it's bent? See how that's breaking around something? Same thing. See how the light's coming around something right here? This area right here is going to be rounded. The blue sky in the background will no longer be blue sky. This is not no longer blue sky. You can see how the light's bending down and around. Again, you can see how the light is being cut off by the blue sky, leaving clouds very close, very unilluminated. Now, you can say it's refracting light or whatever the hell people are saying, but uh, this would be illuminated. <laughs> see how the sun is going down behind the edge of something here? See how the light is not illuminating that way now? This halo right here is because of what's here. The light is, the sun is dipping behind that edge. See how the light's breaking now? See this dot is, to me, is telling us that there is something there and that's why that dot is there mostly it's to show that the light is coming from behind something else see that? how the sun fell right behind that look at that This is again looking west at sunrise. See how dark it is up behind the clouds? Very dark.
Now with the sun not really in the frame per se, I wanted to uh, show everybody how the lights reacted on this side. See this? This is all a line of shadow. See the sun is dipping behind something there. You can see the edge of it there as well. You can see the bottom of this as well. Thought we'd have a look at yesterday's footage from this location. I've, it, it seemed like it was pretty interesting to me. You can see when the sun comes up, there was a lot of light back there. See how everything up there illuminates first? And then it's all of a sudden in shadow. See how it's staying in shadow? The sun is again behind us. See how this area is not really going to be moving much. You can see how the, the clouds are moving past this area while it remains dark. Now the sun is directly above the camera. Notice how none of this is really illuminated still. Now we're getting some glare from the and flares from the sun just out of frame. And as the sun comes in, you can see its trajectory. Now notice how the sun is coming down around the edge of something there and catching another edge as it comes into that direction. Now the sun goes down there. We can see the other planet that I was pointing out earlier, the smooth round top. Now the light's coming out from around the top of it, breaking around the top of what else is up there and also reflecting on something over there. See they just see how the lights breaking around this right here and also around what's above. See how the light bending around that? See that? How the light moves around there. See the light's still breaking around this edge. See that? That light just went around something right there. See that? Very, very bright in the west at sunrise. Once again, there's an a, a rainbow. Huh? Pretty cool. There's that smooth. Now this is west at sunrise. <laughs> yeah, this area right here remains shaded. You can see there's reflecting light as well. Otherwise, why would there be light coming from the west through the clouds in the morning? That's easy because there's something over there reflecting all that light and it's very large. As one can see.
last night's footage from the same location as the sun sets. That large area is still there blocking the light. And you can see the lights wrapping around the face of something. Reflecting off the bottom of something. That's uh, sunrise from behind the camera. The sun is just about directly overhead and we'll be coming down. The sun reflects off many things before going down. Some footage from yesterday as the sun went down. Be able to compare this to today's footage as the sun went down. Notice how this area up here is pinching the light. A little light over here now. Whee! Wow. Yep, nothing going on up there. <laughs> Again, looking west at sunrise. Have a look at this footage from yesterday as well. The whole day's footage. Again, looking west at sunrise, ending with east at sunset.